Hey, Brandon. Well, hello, Fabio. Hey, 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 how's it going? What are you doing at my office? I have a question for you. Yeah? I've been reading some EEG staffing with different attendings, and some of them call everything spikes, some others really don't, so it's kind of confusing. Well, I think I know what's going on. <laughs> Well, okay, let me just first tell you what the empirical data actually shows, and then we'll try to explain what happened, you know, what's going on. So let's say that we know the truth. There's this genie. Now, this is the genie. It knows everything. Let's say this is the truth. So we, if, I, if I show you a waveform in the EG, it's either a spike or it isn't, and the genie knows the truth, okay. right? And then you're attending, you know, um, we'll say it, it either is or isn't a spike. And so mm -hmm. if it agrees with the genie, when the genie says it's a is a spike, that's a true positive. Mm -hmm. If it agrees with the genie, when the genie says, you know, the omniscient genie says it's not, that's true negative. Okay. Otherwise, um, if the truth is positive and we say, you know, your attending says no, mm -hmm. that's a, a miss or a false negative. If the genie says no, mm -hmm. attending says yes, that's a false positive, okay. right? We've got sensitivity and false positive rate, right? So how are these? Turns out that these are always related, right? So unless you're the genie, uh, there's gonna be, um, you can't, you know, you can't have zero false positive rate and uh, perfect, you know, sensitivity. Okay. So, so again, so here's 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 reality. Well, actually, first of all, the genie, my, my genie is over here. Okay. He's a hundred. So this is a hundred percent sensitive uh -huh. and zero percent false positive, right? Mm, okay. All right. Well, okay. But if you're just a mere human, uh -huh. uh, or you know, just a mere attending. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to live somewhere on a curve, right? So, where you can sort of choose to have smaller false positive rate. So let's say you have a conservative attending, but they're an imperfect person. Mm -hmm. um, so they could maybe say, I, "I'm not willing to make more false positives than 10%." Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, but their curve would then dictate that mm -hmm. you know they the most sensitive they can be is let's say that this is I don't know 80. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And then you have another attending who hates to, um, you know, miss things, and they say, "Well, I want to be like 90 90 percent sensitive at least." Mm -hmm. Well, then I'm sorry to say that their false positive rate has to be, you know, at least like this looks like 40 percent to me. So, gotcha. so yeah. when you look at if you have we have a gold standard that we've been able to create of a lots and lots of spikes from lots of people, mm -hmm. and we have eight different you know, independent subspecialty trained. Respectable attendings. The super eight. The super eight. They, they've scored these things, uh -huh. and although they all believe that they are, you know, perfect, yeah. and they all tell you how to change your report when right. you read it. <laughs> what happens is, uh, what happens when you plot there. So each one of them has a false positive rate and a sensitivity right. that we can measure. Okay. So it turns out that they are all actually. At, you know, they're all very close to a single curve. Interesting. So why, why is that? Why, why do they fall the same curve? That's oh, weird. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Here's what, what, what we think actually goes on in, in their minds. Okay. Right? So right. the genie, when it sees the EEG, mm -hmm. it, in its mind there's this, you know, some amount of evidence. Let's call that evidence Z because Z rhymes with E and E is for evidence. Okay. Um, and so the genie, perfectly sees this and, and and basically what the genie does is it says look if is that's if the evidence is greater than zero uh -huh. then say that it's a spike okay okay because this this evidence is sort of centered so that you know if it's above zero that's more likely to be a spike and if gotcha. it's less you know that if it's less than zero that's not a spike and it's okay. always right and it's always right because it's the genie okay All right well Okay, so what about your attendings? Mm -hmm. What do they do? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the attendings, they don't get to see this perfect, you know, beautiful Z. Yeah. Um, so what they see is they see, um, call it Z noise. Okay, so it's a noisy version of Z. Okay. And so that, they see the truth, but plus some little mm -hmm. other thing get added to it. This is, this okay. is noise. So okay. if I see, you know, I see an EG, and then in my mind, there's some, you know, that <laughs> makes me see it imperfectly. Yeah. But I still follow the same rule, you know. If I if that that you know perfect Z plus 
mm -hmm. is more than zero, I mm -hmm. say there's a spike. Mm -hmm. You know, um, okay. and if otherwise, I say there's not a spike. Gotcha. But now, but is that noise the same for everybody or no? So the interesting thing is the noise is the same for everybody. Huh. Okay. So if this was all, if this was the right, if this is what what's happening only, uh -huh. what we would see is that all the attendings would basically be. It turns out they would be like right here. Yeah, that's true. Okay. All right. Yeah. But but the cool thing is that's uh, what I said is they actually would be right here. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't mm -hmm. be like, in you know somewhere off this curve. Of course, they're 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 actually not all right here. Mm -hmm. So so actually, what 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 attendings do is they say, mm -hmm. actually you know again some of them would rather be, you know let make fewer false positives, and so mm -hmm. they say actually you know for me mm -hmm. my rule is going to be. Only when the evidence, because I know I'm not the genie, right? So I zero is, if I'm at zero, I know I'm going to make more false positives than I really want to. So mm -hmm. I'm going to choose some threshold. Let's call that mm -hmm. uh, theta, right? So okay. um, they say, well, I, I'm going to make it a little higher so that I make fewer false positives. And so that means that instead of you know here, I'm going to operate maybe down here mm -hmm. or down here so that I, I won't be, mm -hmm. I'll be an undercaller because. Mm -hmm. Some okay. people believe it's better to be an undercaller, right? Okay. And they, they'll tell you that's the gospel. Yeah. Um, okay. If it's less than the threshold, then I will say not a spike. Okay. Um, and the threshold is low in that case. In this case, no, the threshold's high, right? So okay. it means the evidence has to be quite a bit, you know, mm -hmm. above where I'm uncertain uh, for me to say yes. Okay. And so as a consequence, I'm going to be down here on the curve somewhere. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, you have other people who say, well, I'd rather not miss anything, and so they choose a, a lower threshold, like mm -hmm. just to be to make it really clear what I mean. Like, let's say I wanted to never miss anything, uh -huh. Uh -huh. where would I set my threshold? Minus infinity, right? right? Then I would never miss one. I mean, in <laughs> fact, I don't need to look at the EGs. Yeah. Just <laughs> tell me, tell me there's an EG, and I'll just say it's positive. That's that's what I say, right? <laughs> and I never miss one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. So this is this seems to be a good model for how. Yeah experts kind of process these things. Uh, surprisingly, yeah, they're all very close to a common curve if people who are well-trained. Uh -huh. um, that is, you know, by contrast, if you take, you know, novices, mm -hmm. um, we're still kind of studying this. I mean, you're studying yeah! this. You know, so yeah. it turns out, though, they're like, they're not on that curve. They're right. somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. So the, the goal of, well, there's two interesting, so, what training accomplishes, <laughs> apparently, mm -hmm. is it pushes you, it teaches you to, you know, it reduces your noise. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it makes it so that you see something closer to what the genie sees, mm -hmm. you know, but there, there's always some noise. Mm -hmm. The thing that training apparently does not accomplish, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not yet, mm -hmm. is it doesn't tell us which threshold to pick. Mm -hmm. So apparently everybody feels free to just choose whatever threshold they want, and, yes. you know, some are more, some are over colors and some are under colors. Mm -hmm. um, that does not reflect your skill, right? The skill is a matter of how much noise, mm -hmm. but it reflects this sort of freedom to choose this, you know, uh, threshold. And mm -hmm. but that's still a big problem, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't, we have to get to some agreement on where the right threshold is. Otherwise, when you when you bring your EG to one attending, it's going to be positive, and when it's to another, it'll be negative. That yeah. that won't happen for the extreme cases where it's right. really clear and everybody agrees. Right. But for these intermediate cases where you know, there's some risk of making a false positive. It would it would be better if we were consistent. Right. It um, changes patient care too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you'd you'd rather this. You know, just as an example, if you yeah. if you were to send the you know blood to a lab, you know, to check mm -hmm. the sodium value. Right. How would you like it if you know some days one attending <laughs> reports the sodium <laughs> value as, and they're like an overcaller, so they they say it's high. You yeah. know, and the same blood and you send it to another person, they say, well, I, I like to have lower sodium value, right. <laughs> right? So that would be terrible. Yeah. You'd, you'd rather just have it be whatever it is and then, right. and then you can interpret it in context knowing that there's some you know, true and false positive rate that's, that's reliable, right? right? So mm -hmm. un unfortunately, as things are, mm -hmm. though it's random. What, right. what, what, where someone's operating, if you don't know who the attending is, could be, or you know, the, the EEG reader could be a bit random, right. so even if they're highly skilled, uh, that's a source of unwanted variability. We gotta, we gotta crush. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So residents, or we can become genies, and then, <laughs> then we don't have to worry about noise. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So fellowship or residence 
residency will fix your inn. Yeah, yeah. That this right? this inn will the whole result of fellowship or uh -huh. well, yeah, is to make your inn small. Right. Your, make the the, the yeah the, the amount of noise that's getting added small. Gotcha. Yeah. But we need to make up our minds as far as the theta because <sighs> then we can teach trainees. Yeah. Where we have to right? as a field uh, find ways to make people nor you know uniform with respect to their the thresholds that they're using. Gotcha. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank You're you. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. <laughs>